everyone! So today's topic is going to be what it's like to work in attractions role, specifically at Big Thunder Mountain. off an attractions cast member is basically operating one of the attractions or rides or shows at Disney World. You could be placed in any of the four parks and you don't necessarily get a ride. Um, you could get a show or you could, um, I heard some people work at Interventions in Epcot. Angie worked at the Agent P's World Showcase Adventure. So it's still one of the attractions but it's not a ride. Um, I enjoy Big Thunder Mountain. Um, so basically you have rotations when you work in an attraction. Um, this is for most attractions, which are normally the button pushing ones. So you have a rotation because for safety reasons you can't have someone pushing a button for three, four hours straight because your focus is going to be lost. So the rotation is usually around 45 minutes and it just tells you where to go to the next position. We had two rotations at Big Thunder Mountain, Gold Rush and Nugget Way. It's themed. Um, to this day I still don't know which one was which. I just, we call the main side and spur side because the main station is called spur station. Confusing, I know, because the one's called main. So if you're ever at the ride late at night or early in the morning when only one station's open, that's called spur side. So you start off on that, ro if you get that rotation, you start off at grouper, which is uh, putting people in rows with their families and friends, whatever. It can get complicated when people keep requesting the back or the front and it's a claustrophobic space and Big Thunder Mountain there were no numbers on the floor. So if you tell people go to row number five, they don't know where that is. Next was greeter two or greeter. So that you're just basically outside um, checking heights for children, answering any questions. People are always asking if it's uh, like what it is and if it's scary, if it goes high. You should note that it goes 35 miles per hour, and I think it's 3 minutes and 26 seconds, I think. You're also scanning flip cards, which are the red cards that keep track of the wait time. And just answer questions, basic. It's really easy. Then you go to wheelchair assist, which is my favorite position, where you basically say, have a great day to everyone, and you're basically assisting guests with wheelchairs into the station, so they could go on the train. They can have a specific wait time. Um, or if they have fast pass depending on the time, but you have to make sure they're there at the right time. And sometimes it just gets so backed up because everyone decides to come at once. You're also the one who is bringing the wheelchair to the other side, to the other station, because there are five trains normally. If you start at one station, you'll end up at the other. Then you have spur unload, and you're pre pretty much checking the lap bars of the last three trains of the car and pushing the green button. Um, pretty easy. Um, sometimes this is where you help send the trains back late at night, which a CP you are going to be closing. If you get a morning shift, which I was so lucky to get sometimes, you don't close. But you'll need to know how to do that. After spur unload, you go to spur exit. You help with the guests that the wheelchair assist brought in, and you bring them onto the train. And you bring the wheelchair to the wheelchair assist, and you might be helping with lost and found because people lose hats and glasses. And even though they say in the beginning of the ride, take a hold on to your hats and glasses because it's the wildest ride in the wilderness, People lose them. And people forget their phones a lot in the ride too. Then you go to spur dispatch after spur exit, pretty much holding on to the station stop the entire time. You're watching the track and you also push the button and check the first two cars, the lap bars. Then you go to tower. Tower, you're watching the cameras, answering phones. You're basically in charge in case it's an emergency, so you have to be focused. Um, it is a nice way to get away from the guests when you have that position. I was scared of it. I didn't go to go to that position until April when I started on my own in February. Oh, I don't know. After that, you will either you don't go through the whole position, all the positions in the rotation, um, because you'll get your breaks throughout them. Um, sometimes, if you finish at tower through rotation, you end up getting your breaks somehow. Most of the time, you end up pulling your own break. Um, the other rotation is the main side. You start with merge and merge assist, which never liked. You're combining the fast pass line into the regular line. Um, there's a certain system to it, one party at a time. You'll learn about that. Um, basically, it's very hectic when people are like slow with the magic bands, go mm, and 
people are in standby get mad if you have pests going from them and it's hot up there and people don't pay attention to the line especially with the interactive queue anyway after you go to fast pass plus key at the um like down by greeter you're scanning fast passes and you're gonna be yelled at at this position because you tell people they're too early or they missed it and it's crazy mess i think it's gotten better because i was there when they first released fast pass plus then you go to hmm, main unload because main exit was never up and if it was I was never there because only when you have um, a lot of cast members working that day, which we really never had. Main unload, same as Spur. Um, it's like you're standing on this platform all by yourself and you're like in a zoo with everyone watching you. Then you go to main grouper, same as Spur grouper, just the other side of the station. Then you go to main dispatch, which is same as Spur dispatch, and then the rotation ends. So basically, you're in charge of just knowing all the positions, knowing all the protocol. If you have any questions about an attractions role, you can let me know. I'm going to be doing attractions again for fall 2015. Um, I hope I get to operate another roller coaster. I'm hoping for Everest or Rock and Roller Coaster, or hoping if I could get Test Track. That's cool. I kind of want to be Magic Kingdom, want a new park, but I'm sure I'll be happy with whatever I get. Um, I hope I get something similar to Big Thunder Mountain, just because I know a fast-paced roller coaster and I don't want to get like a show. But yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know. If you have any other ideas for future vlogs or for me just talking to the camera or talking to you guys, which is really talking to my camera, please let me know and comment below. And hope to see you real soon.